philosophies. They're not exactly what we're looking forward to taking, right? But they're important, and they could cause, you know, they could, they could find cancer and get it treated yeah, right it's away. Critical. So right. to get there, though, right? One woman is making sure her friends and family get tested, rather, by giving them a free ride in what she calls the colonoscopy cab. WMER2 News' Megan Knight has a story. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be just fine. Feeling fine is not usually how one feels before they're about to get a colonoscopy. But Nancy Amato will do everything she can to make sure it's not a pain in your behind. Here we go. Nancy runs what she calls the colonoscopy cab and agreed to do a mock run with me and her friend Sandy, who has taken a ride in the colonoscopy cab. So I pick you up at your house and take you to your test. I'll wait in the waiting room for you. And then um, once you're ready to go, then we stop and we either have breakfast or lunch, depending on what time of the day it is and what you feel like eating. This idea came while Nancy was getting chemo treatment for colon cancer nine years ago. She was 48, just two years shy of the recommended age to get tested, when she did the screening before donating a kidney to her sister. I was shocked because I had no symptoms. I really was not experiencing any symptoms at all. Her diagnosis allowed her to talk openly with her friends and family about getting tested, even if they weren't 50. I think 45 is a good age if you have no other risk factors. And Dr. Neeraj Johnny at GBMC agrees. He says it's already recommended that African Americans and people at high risk for colon cancer be tested at the age of 45. There's a lot of uh, discussion right now is should we move it for everybody to age 45. And that's because the incidence of particularly rectal cancer and colon cancer is on the rise in 40 year olds. Dr. Johnny says people don't usually have symptoms until the cancer is advanced, but there are some warning signs. The things that we look for, uh, particularly, are change in bowel habits um, from the norm, uh, change in weight, uh, blood in the stool. Uh, you know, decreased frequency of stool, abdominal pain, decreased appetite. Nancy says she's made the ride to and from GBMC dozens of times to drop off friends and family for their colonoscopies, and she'll gladly do it for dozens more. Perfect. Oh, wow. Perfect. Everything is and there is one big upside to riding in the colonoscopy cab. I have a really good track record, too. Nobody has come home with difficult news. So, you know, knock on wood, we hope that that continues. And if you're still a little leery about getting a colonoscopy, Dr. Johnny says those at-home colonoscopy kits actually do have a pretty good detection rate. The only drawback is they can also produce sometimes a false positive result. So it's always a good idea to talk to your doctor before and after doing any kind of test. All right, and guess what? You'll see Nancy this weekend, huh? She's going to be the GBMC's legacy chase at Schwann Downs. It, Schwann, it benefits the hospital's oncology services and patient support programs. It is a family-friendly event. It's actually a great event. You pay $35 per car to get in. Legacy Chase starts at 10 a.m. Saturday, and we've got information on our website at WMER2news.com. So that made it pretty painless, that, didn't it? Yeah, but she avoids speed bumps, though.